Hey guys, this is Mr. Spray, and welcome to this video. This is a different video that I have never really filmed before, but I should have filmed it this morning, but I ended up getting got busy today. So I'm going to do it and make sure to film it before today ends, um, because I really want to do it, and I'm going to upload it after. Um, so you guys might see the next day, um, of it though. Because it's like almost 11 p.m. right now, Eastern Time. And it's like, uh, I should have done it like hours ago. But today was hectic for me. Um, in this video, I want to remember those people that were in 9-11. And if you are younger, um, like a lot younger, um... You might not even, you should know about it, but like, you might not know as much about it. Um, I'm trying to think of, if you ask your parents and they might, if you ask their pa your parents and ask what they were doing, they, most of the people remembers, um, so your parents might remember what they were doing or something um so i want to play a little respect to the 9-11 and talk about it a little bit on here um i know this might lose me subscribers but i really don't care i just want to pay the respect and but first before i do that you guys might see i'm in my Boy Scout uniform because I'm going to actually salute. Um, and I can't salute without this. Uh, so the reason why I have this on is so I can salute and pay more respect to it than this. Um, and I don't know where my sash is though. It's somewhere, but then I haven't been. I actually aged out of Boy Scouts because you don't, you are no know more. You're not really in Boy Scouts after you turn 18. Um, but you still have the uniform and stuff. Um, if you see some of the stuff over there, I became an Eagle Scout um, back in almost a year ago, actually. It would be a year ago ending of next month. So. And... It's a huge accomplishment, like a huge accomplishment. It's probably one of the biggest accomplishments you can ever achieve. Um, but now let's talk about 9-11. 9-11 um, had sadly happened on September 11th, 2001, a whole year before I was born. It over a year. Um, my mom was actually sleeping. Because she was, she just kind of out of work after being working all night. Um, because I think she said she was working at McDonald's. Um, but, okay. So I just want to, because schools not, don't really talk about it as much as they used to. Um, they used to do it every year. They don't as much as they used to, which I would want they them to do. Um, because... Three over, I think it was like over 300,000. Hold on, I can't remember. It's either 3,000 or over 300,000 lives have lost that day. Hold on. No, I will ask. Uh, I will ask. Alexa, how many lives were lost on 9 11? The September 11th attacks, also referred to as 9 11 were a series of four coordinated terrorist attacks by the Islamic terrorist group Al-Qaeda on the United States on the morning of Tuesday, September 11, 2001. Four passenger airplanes were hijacked. Four. Two of the planes crashed into the north and south towers of the World Trade Center complex in New York City. The first plane hit the north tower at 8.46 a.m. and the second hit the south tower at 9.03 a.m. The south tower collapsed at 9.59 a.m. I can tell you guys and some of this off. the north tower off. fell at 10.28 a.m. Fires caused by the fall of the north tower led to the collapse of 7 a.m. Trade Center at 5.21 p.m. A third plane crashed into the Pentagon in Arlington County, Virginia, leading to a partial collapse of the buildings. 
Okay, I will read this to you because I don't know if you guys heard it or not, but so I can get it a little bit more right for you guys. The September 11th attack, also referred as 2S 911, were a series of four coordinated terrorist, terrorist attacks by the Islamic terrorist group Al Qaeda on the United States on the morning of Tuesday, September 11th, 2001. So some people, it was. Some people, it was the first day of school, or their second week of school, um, when this all happened. Depending on where you are, of course, around my area, um, I think it's about second week of school. Four passenger airplanes were hijacked. Two of planes crashed into the north and south towers of the World Trade Center's complex in New York City. Um, the first plane hit the North Tower at 8.46 a.m., so pretty much when, right when school started, um, maybe a little after, um, elementary anyway. And the second hit the South Tower at 9.03 a.m. The South Tower collapsed at 9.59 a.m., and the North Tower fell at 10.28 a.m. Fire caused by the fall of the North Tower led to the collapse of 7 World Trade Center at 5.21 p.m. A third plane crashed into the Pentagon at Arlington County, Virginia, leading to a partial collapse of the building's western side. The fourth plane intentionally was steered towards Washington, D.C., which was, I think they were going to say, it was going to hit the White House. So, that would have been even more bad, and lost more. No! Alexa. 9-11. What happened on the 9-11 attack? Here's your story. Go down 20 years no. after 9 -11. Alexa. How many lives were lost on 9-11? The September 11th attacks, also referred to as 9-11, we were a series of four coordinate. There we go, we're back. But crashed into a field in Stony Creek Township near Shanksville, Pennsylvania. After its passengers tried to overcome the hijackers, the attacks killed 2,996 people and injured 6,000 others. So, I thought it was 3,000. I couldn't remember if it was 3,000 or 300,000. But I thought it was 3,000. I was pretty sure. So, pretty much almost 3,000 people um, were killed. And then 6,000 others were injured. Um, all because of this attack. So, to pay my respect... Um, to those people in the hit 9-11, I will, I have my national anthem on my, um, computer here, the national anthem, and I want you guys to stand up, because I know a lot of you guys are not in the U.S., but if you can still stand up wherever you are, even if you are outside of the U.S., um, to kind of show your respect around the world, even, um, and I will salute if you are in an army uniform, you if you're in a Boy Scout uniform, whatever, salute. Go for it. But, otherwise, you're just actually not supposed to. But, okay. Put your hand over your heart. I will do the salute since I'm in uniform. I will stand right here and play. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to try to make this louder. Oh. Hold on. I'm trying to so you guys can hear. Two. It's not that loud. Hold on. My... Okay. Hold on. A 
Alexa, play the national anthem. The Star Spangled Banner, United States National Anthem, by the United States Marine Band, on Amazon Music. <laughs> So, that was the national anthem that I really wanted all of us to do. Um, every time I talk about this, every time um, I do this or think about this, I get upset and I start having tears in my eyes. And because it's just so emotional. So, yeah. Um, if you can play, please pray for the families that deal with this because it's been now 20 years. So it's been a big anniversary. Um, please pray. My prayers is out to the families. God bless you. To those families, keep it strong. You guys got it this far. You can meet, keep on moving, okay? And, well, yeah. Um, so, keep strong. You made it 20 years, family. And I know there were kids on those planes who have died. When an Alexa, how many kids had died during 9-11? Eight children are the casualties of September 11th attacks. So, eight children had died. Which I thought, actually, I thought there would be a lot, like a lot more. But, um, I'm glad it's only eight and not as much as I thought. Um, because I thought there would be hundreds of kids. Um... If, yeah, and we hope that all the people who were in the trade centers at, at the time of the tax were not all in yet, we hope. Um, I don't think they all were, like everyone was, but, um, yeah, just remember, thousands of people had lost their lives, thousands were injured, and, at, like I said, I pray for all those families who kind of had to go through it again after 20 years. Um, and we will just make it another. I will make sure because I will become a teacher. And when I teach, I'm going to make sure to mention the 9-11. I don't care what I teach. If I teach, I mean, I'm going to be, I think I'm going to teach gym, but I'm going to still teach this 9-11 thing. Because it's something important to me, and I really want people to know about it. 
after me in in generations those gen some generations kids like two three generations might not even know about it and I want them to know about it um just remember that because they are stop started to stop talking about it in school and I I remember I think my junior year was the first ever year that we did not talk about anything 9-11. My junior and senior years. And and I want them to. So. Okay. So that what's happened and I really want them to, okay? So, if you guys are really honestly new to the channel, please subscribe, um, like, and pr let's pray for those families who are suffering an uh, anniversary of their loved ones being pretty much killed. And, yeah. Okay, thank you guys. <sighs> Excuse me. Thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for um, praying with me and thank you guys for celebrating. Not really. I just not really celebrating, but what's the word? I'm not really celebrating. Come on. We're not celebrating a 20 year anniversary for 9-11. That's outrageous. But thank you guys for sticking around and thank you guys for... Um, listening and thank you guys for um being here with the national anthem even if you are not in the country of the u.s and i know why well, i have heard you could see smoke from where i was where i live which is in michigan and it happened in new york city um that's about 11, 12 hours away. And. If you don't go into Canada. If you go into Canada. It's probably like. 8. <laughs> 9. So it's still. Ways away. So I just want to say. Thank you guys again. And. Yeah. I'm. Going to say it one last time. I'm praying for those families who had who had suffered um through all of this and I guess I will see you guys on next time. Goodbye.